lose an embarrassing game, 31 to 21 to the New York Jets. This was a game where just several inopportune mistakes ended up costing us one of the worst performances this season or easily the worst performance this season from the offense. I thought this was actually a comparatively strong performance from the defense if we're looking at it in a grand, in the grand scheme of things considering just how bad things were over the first couple of weeks, but Man, dude, this was just one that it felt like on paper you couldn't afford to lose because of everything Sean Payton said about Nathaniel Hackett. Jets took this one personally. You know they were going to. You heard CJ Uzama in the tunnel as the Jets were going onto the field. The clip went viral on Twitter. He said, let's go win this for Hackett. This is one of those ones where it felt like almost everything that could go wrong did Hats off to the New York Jets defense. They played phenomenal. I cannot wait for the All-22 film. Or Well, I mean, I'm not excited, but I mean, the All-22 film is going to reveal a lot that I imagine the broadcast footage did not show in terms of just how well this Jets secondary held up. Receivers for Denver simply did not get open in this game. Russell Wilson did his best to try to extend plays. Unfortunately, his receivers did not help him out. They did not get open on scramble drills. It was pathetic, man. You're taught as a receiver, when quarterbacks break from the pocket, you have to drift towards the quarterback and try to give them a friendly, easy completion. That's what you simply have to do. It's mandatory. And in this scenario here, man, today we saw none of that. We saw absolutely none of that. Our receivers were just kind of in no man's land. I hate to use the E word here, but we saw a very distinct lack of effort from Cortland Sutton, from Jerry Judy, and even, yes, Marvin Mims. This was easily Mims' worst game as a pro, but we saw that lack of effort on a lot of plays from receivers, just in terms of not getting open, being a little bit lazy at times, I'm not going to lie, man, on certain plays where it was clear that Cortland Sutton wasn't going to get the ball, he didn't even try to run a route to try to sell it for the defense. He just kind of was jogging out there, just kind of casually jogging out there, man. Cortland Sutton is a guy that is going to be heavily, and I mean heavily, on the trade block over the next few days.